The British Fashion Council is responsible for London Fashion Week, a twice yearly showcase of the best of British designers, new and old alongside the work of big names from around the world. But the council's work doesn't stop when the last frock has been packed away. In between the Fashion Weeks and the annual British Fashion Awards, it also arranged closed events like this one, where industry representatives get a sneak preview of the best graduate work from over 20 of Britain's top fashion colleges. British fashion colleges are renowned throughout the world as being the best sort of source of creative talent. So um, what we're running today is uh, a first opportunity for people, predominantly from the UK, but also for international audience as well, to come and see some of the students who are going to be graduating this year uh, and will be available from this summer to, to start running design studios, setting up their own businesses, working with retailers, not just in the UK but internationally as well. The fashion course leader at Bath Spa University hopes to interest some industry names in her students' work. This is our first time sort of showing at the British Fashion Council Open Day. Um, so for us it's quite a, a sort of a, a new experience and what we're hoping to get out of it is obviously exposure for our students, our graduating students, um, but also for the course as well because we're a very new uh, fashion course so we're sort of the new kids on the block. Um, so it's nice to have industry people having the opportunity to see what the students at Bath are actually producing. This is a student, Caroline. Uh, she's actually an international student. She's from Germany. Um, Caroline has a very strong handwriting. She um, enjoys the styling as well as design and has a very strong sense of colour um, and the use of fabric and embellishment of fabric. And if I just turn over the page, um, this student is um, a student called Joe Barnfield. Um, jo has a very strong sense of design from a technical starting point. So for her, rather than drawing an image first, she will actually work either with a flat pattern drafting or on a stand. And she designs very much like this sort of page here, very methodically working things out, thinking about details and how she might cut them creatively. A major name in international fashion is the UK-based label French Connection on the lookout today for new talent and ideas. It's very different being a student and coming up with ideas actually working out there in the industry. Um, we're not looking for people um, that are doing um, very commercial things necessarily, but we want someone who can be creative and have a commercial approach as well. So often we'll do something where they maybe come in and work with us or we'll give them a freelance project. Um, but we do actually take on quite a lot of people who are what you might call more junior and that does work quite well for us um, because they're full of ideas and then you just help to nurture them and um, channel them a little bit to, to do what you want them to do. British designers are found in key positions in fashion houses all around the world. But with fashion being such a global industry, some loss of talent is inevitable. It may even be a good thing. A proportion of our talent does go abroad and you know, we don't look upon that as a bad thing. Uh, for, for starters, a lot of people come from around the world to actually study here. So, so to suggest that every, everyone and every, every sort of boy and girl is a son or daughter of these shores would not be the case. Uh, you know, if you look at the names of the designs at London Fashion Week, you know, at least 50% of them are sort of of non-British origin, although they call London and Britain their home now. They're, they're British designers. By the time the next London Fashion Week takes to the stage, towards the end of the year, some of the outrageous new ideas being paraded around may be from new graduates spotted at a British Fashion Council Open Day.